Well, hello everybody, and I hope you are having a lovely Revs Jubilee Day. I wanted to show you around my garage this time, and here it is. Um, I also wanted to show you a car that I was actually in last time when I did um, a Revs chit chat and I was actually in my Ford Ranger Raptor and I thought this time I would jolly well show it to you from outside and here she is in all her glory. It is a whopper and there are so many things I love about it um, which I will get on to but I do hope that everybody is super well and that you are having a lovely day and also I'd like to say hello to Mission Motorsport as well for everyone who works at Mission Motorsport for the fantastic work that you all do there. And hello to the Rev and well done for organizing this for everybody. Okay, so my, my super duper car here. So this is my everyday car and I just fell in love with it because of its sheer size and also the fact that people Although it's big, people are super kind and they let you out and there's no sort of pomp or ceremony about running a pickup truck. Um, this particular one, I've got a two litre diesel in the bonnet and then it is fully four by four. So if you are a four by four fan, then you will love being able to see the suspension throughout these sort of big wheel arches. I love this down here so this is the uh, the step that you have to have to use to get up into the thing because it is it is so big and then this is where i spend a lot of my time i love the fact that it sits up high and you can be a bit of a nosy parker um, when you're driving around the neighborhood it's got 10 gears and it it's got great pickup from you know when you're pulling uh, onto roundabouts and stuff like that so it's and it will keep up with all the motorway traffic but also it's got this magic ingredient that makes you kind of like slow down a bit and just relax and it's like being in a big bear hug each time you drive it I think that's perhaps the best way to describe it <laughs> there's room four five in the back so that is pretty much where I spend a lot of my time on the road. I mean, I love taking the family out and about in it, but perhaps my favourite journeys are when I'm on my own. I just listened to an audio book or something like that. Um, yes, and then of course, got some lovely Raptor decals here. And then in the back, oh, I've had all sorts of things in here. I've had bicycles, blow up canoes, and at the minute I've got some empty big bags that need to go back to the garden centre. Yes, my life is that exciting. <laughs> um, now, I know that Rev's Jubilee, I know it's all about sort of hope and, and, just, and, and also a bit about reflection. And we've all had a bit of a tough year, I know. And, and you know, I, I am sending all my best wishes to everybody who is watching this. And just to hope that we can all see each other again soon at some car show in the flesh and that would be fantastic i've been lucky enough to be involved in doing some auctioneering for the last sort of 16 months or so and i've joined a company called historics auction and they had their first auction of 2021 last weekend at ascot raceway and that in itself is a bit like a car show because you have such an eclectic range of machines, some of which I've never even heard of and some that are so rare, you know, I've only ever seen them once you know, at the auction. But I just wanted to give you a couple of highlights from last weekend's auction. And there is a there was a lovely restored 1979 Ford Capri Mark III, a three litre S. And that was on, uh, its estimate was 25 to 30,000 to 30,000 pounds. And it actually went for 36 and a half thousand pounds. It went more than for its estimate. And oh my gosh, I love a Capri. <laughs> and that one was particularly juicy. And then at the other end of the money scale, there was a 1992 Jaguar XJ220 with a, a V6 turbo engine. And that went for just over 300,000 pounds. And there are more auctions to come throughout the year. So that's something that I'm, I'm dabbling in. It's like talking another language for me because it's all about sort of numbers and 
and the interaction is very different to interaction that I have when I'm interviewing somebody on telly or something like that. But it's, it's really fun and the people at Historics are very kind and very patient <laughs> to have me on board. And then also, yeah, later on this year, I've got a TV show called The Car Years coming out. This will be its second series. And it's where Alex Riley and I, we pick a car each from a set year and then we champion that car. And we have some wonderful footage, you know, about how the car is made or there are certain people that have, you know, been able to give us an insight into the stories of of when the cars, you know, were just being thought of, let alone being made. And it, it's wonderful stuff. So even if you're not a huge car fan, it's a, it sort of sets the scene about what happened socially when that particular car came, came about. It's very lovely. And also I get to dress up in certain, you know, in the costumes of that, of that year that we're doing. So that's always a bit of fun. And um, that will be coming out on ITV4 a bit later on this year. So keep an eye out for that. And then finally, I have been, at la long last, I'm launching a YouTube channel and please do uh, look on my Twitter feed, which is uh, at VB underscore H and also on my Instagram feed, which is Vicky Butler Henderson. And then I'll be telling you all about the launch when it happens. So that is imminent and I'll be reviewing all sorts of wonderful machines and I start off with a Ferrari why not <laughs> so that's all been very exciting that and that is pretty much filmed in my garage here and then out and about on the roads so it's been an exciting adventure for me to to do that and i hope that you enjoy the results at the end of it because if you're if you're watching today then i know that you will love cars in in some way and that's what joins us all together here for revs jubilee well all that is left really for me to say is to I hope that you continue to have a wonderful day thank you to the Rev for putting this on and thank you everyone for submitting your stories as well and I really hope that we all stay safe and stay happy and that we manage to see each other and each other's cars in the flesh very very soon until then take care bye